back. You can do a squat. Stand down. So you can you can jump if you need to. When you get tired, you get you'll need to. Um, with this one, if you want, if you're out for rest, don't drop it. Once you drop it, you're like, oh, you don't want to pick it up. Looks heavy, you know. So just really, just try to keep it at, keep at it. If you're going for reps on this. Yeah. It's a light ball. Um, or actually, be like 16 for girls, maybe 14, and it'll be a lower, uh, lower target. So this is actually pretty light. It'll be pretty non taxing but you will get tired. So the guys, 20 pound ball. This, they sell this ball for super elite, but it's, it's very heavy. So. This one, the guys will probably be gassing out. Um, nice. Yeah. Okay, next one. Next patient. Um, next patient, okay? Sumo. Okay, show the sumo. Okay. Here's the sumo. <coughs> you get a wide, wide stance. You're going to hold pretty much. Uh, okay. And anytime you touch the bar, you want to have like a silver back. You know, like a gorilla pose. Yeah. Do this, you're going to go from first. So you're going to grab it, and then you're going to you're gonna do like any kind of squat. You're going you're gonna, to uh, come straight up. Pull those little knuckles up, and you're going to explode just like this. Now, I've seen, we, I just see some folks out here like this, just getting into the deadlift. But you really want to go to full motion. Okay? So. And at the very top, everything should be tense. It shouldn't be. It should be like late. It should really be nice and tense. So that will get exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we made a mistake. So the next one is box show. At 20 inch. That should be about 15 inch. So next year it's a little bit lighter. With the box jumps, you really, you know, if you can't rebound, rebound is just one after another. Jump up, jump up, step down. So that's fine. It'll affect your, it'll affect your count, but this is exhausting. Uh, it is an amazing way. Jump before you, um, get back down in the tube. You don't have to stand up and grab it. Show the bad one like here. So this is this is your for you. Okay, next one. This one. Oh. Push press. Push press. Uh, <laughs> this one, um, usually it's on the wrap of the wrap. So you're going to have to pick up the ground in there. Okay. So push press is, it's like a regular press, but you're going to use, actually use your, you know, dip, bend the knees and dip. Use momentum to talk, get the bar overhead. When it's overhead, you push, push your head through. So you can leave your ears on the right. And you come back down. And as you catch it, you get back up and then just. You notice Corey's knees are really just reactive. They're not actually squatting down. They're just reactive. So it's. And the first thing to adjust is dipping down and then up. You can, and it's just enough one time. To avoid the jerk, really just kind of tense everything up at the top. Just what is that? So you bounce in there. Like, squeeze your butt, squeeze your knees, and that'll keep you from going into the jerk. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's a rest where he's actually falling into the next one, absorbing it, and that's getting the next one up. So. 
This is another one you can get some pretty good reps on. Okay, final one. And final one is the grower. So the goal here is to count the number of calories. So um, you might it, you turn on, hit, you know, click menu back, just row, you should have a calorie screen, and you just start rowing. Um, it's actually got a little bit of an arc to it. Um, you're going to get your, your power on the pull. The reverse is actually to relax. The fan's got to slow down so that the next pull you can accelerate it. So you can grab it. And so it's a, it's a real form step motion, but the trick is leg first, then arm, and just like that. On the return, arm, leg then first, back and back. Rather than getting your leg first, you're going to have to go over. It's going like a little bit after all, it's going to be stacking like this one. Even if you want to chill at that very, like, you're gonna, it's almost like you're punching your chest sometimes, and you, just, you can chill there. The fan will slow down, and you'll pick up that power on the next stroke. So it's not about how many strokes you can do, it's about how much power is behind the stroke. And you know, the quickest calorie level, you have a certain amount of time, only that five, so usually, strategy, I'm in this station as like a master's recovery, you can go all out, burn it up out. So at this point, the next one... Oh, one more thing. So people start panicking when the fan starts going. When you're stuck in here, you can open it. You don't want to check it. All you got to do is, let me push it up with your foot, and then out. Up, and then out. Just like trying to get stuck in the top here. Just remember, up, out. Yes. And the last one is a one minute rest. One minute rest. Just warm up. Do you think of favor, don't fall to your back like you're getting up, stand up? No, but it's good pictures though. Do it.